first steps to dismantling would be to take a look at the plans and see how it's built, look at it, and then you have to start looking at re-engineering it and look at options on how to dismantle it. Um, different methods were looked at, but ultimately a uh, reverse construction method was chosen. So the bridge is going to be dismantled in the similar fashion as it was constructed. When we first started looking at the construction of the bridge, we needed to look at putting in some bracing. A lot of the bracing is in the same place as it was previously. Uh, a lot of it's below the bridge deck, so on the arch um, underneath the bridge where drivers can't really see it. Um, there's longitudinal and transverse bracing there. Um, oftentimes it looks like that the bracing was in the exact same spot as the original bracing because you can see where the uh, gussets were originally. And then temporary stay towers were put in place uh, to support the loads of the bridge deck. Cables were attached to the above deck arch and then to the backspan of the lower deck arch to support it um, as well as to lift it up briefly and try to remove some of the load in the arch prior to uh, separating the two structures. You had to do the cut separating the two structures. Once the two structures were separate, you could look at removing the components of each of the arch. Um, what you can see behind me is the gap, as well as some of the remaining structure. Uh, initially, the deck, so the steel deck was removed. It was lowered down to a barge. Then the uh, upper arch deck, ar upper arch pieces were removed. Then the hangers, so the vertical members, and then the girders. That's the typical method of how it was done. However, when we did the actual original um, removal, we removed the arch girders first purely to provide uh, access for the crane. The components are being lowered onto board barges. In the old days, explosions were used and the whole bridge was dropped into the river and then pieces removed. Here, that would not only impact the environment, but also shipping. Fraser River is used a lot for navigation. You have a lot of log barges moving up and down and tugboats. Similar to the new Portman Bridge, which was constructed in two different fashions for each of the cantilevers, the original Portman Bridge is going to be dismantled using two different types of equipment. The uh, cantilever on the south side is going to be using uh, derrick cranes, which are mounted to the bridge deck, whereas the north tower cantilevers are going to be using a barge-mounted crane to dismantle it. And this is because the access. Um, the north has full access on both the main span and the back span for the barge-mounted crane whereas the south cantilever is above CN Rail and needs to have minimal access below. The biggest challenge is always going to be when you're separating the two structures. Um, basically, removing the keystone of an arch is a major challenge. Um, so once the uh, bridge has been separated as it is now, we have two determinant structures. 